Start the recording. Push the other button. <laughs> See what the beat does. Oh yeah, all those buttons do something different. Right. Well, here, watch this. So we get to, we get you some canned la or canned uh, applause. Ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, <laughs> Paul Nixie. Yeah, Paul yeah. Nixie with us here. Yeah. yeah. Got the applause in the background All there. Right. You guys can't see the studio audience. Right. You can't see what it's in, but we make it happen. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Paul Nix, uh, but thank you for being with us here today. Uh, you know, we're starting something here that, that hopefully we'll be able to continue in. The Lord, awesome. Lord be willing, Lord. Awesome. Um, just we, you're from Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. All the way yeah. to Corpus Christi, Texas. Yes, yes. For the fiftieth for the fiftieth annual annual right. uh, jail and prison ministry mm -hmm. workshop. I'm excited about being here. Been here quite a few times. Yes. What 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 experience would you say that people needed to 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 relive when they come here and and the things that you've seen these men and women in Christ do that is inspiring and and would tell you that I don't want to miss this for the world. Yeah. Man, it is some. Um, faithful knowledgeable yes. loving christians so, here so, mm -hmm. who by faith are reaching out to seek and save the lost yes. right yes, amen. and so we're going mm -hmm. behind the bars and we're going behind the jails <laughs> uh we're going to go and share mm -hmm. the goodness of god's will yes because um, he's been gracious to us and seeing the power and wisdom in here and the the using the willingness to use their skills and talents for the lord right and, and in that regard would you would you say in your uh in your experience that mm -hmm. if you uh if you volunteer to go into the prisons you won't involuntarily go there how do you feel about that uh, yeah that's mm -hmm. kind of true right um you know I, i'm i'm over the prison ministry at our congregation jackson street church of christ Amen. nashville Amen. tennessee mm -hmm. and when you've been through things if you've been through difficult challenging times where you've been just brought down to your knees or you've been in darkness for a long period of time yes. and you see how God has delivered you how you've studied that word and you're counting in all joy when you're going through those difficult times and you see what the Lord has done for you you can't help share it for other people yes now the prison ministry isn't the most sexiest ministry you're not, not. going to be seen in the church and yeah. going and all that but the power uh, that you can share with other mm -hmm. people, you see the impact on their lives, yeah. it motivates you and keeps oh. you sharp. Yeah, especially yeah. when you see a man that was on death row. Yeah. Right, because yeah. that, that reminds us of a couple of people that were on death row, all of us. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Until Oh, yeah. Until Jesus intervened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So death row in there is yes. no different from death row in the world. Yeah. I like mm -hmm. that. And, and, and I want to say this, um, it's encouraging to see you, brother, excited, you know, uh, come over here and, and, and share with us. and. And, you know, I was talking to Miss, Miss April earlier, mm -hmm. Sister mm -hmm. April, and, and I said, there's beauty in the struggle. Yeah, yes, And, uh, you know, the things, the things that, uh, mm -hmm. that the devil uses to destroy us, God will use to deliver us. Almost death. And, and mm -hmm. we always look at the now and not at God's purpose. Mm -hmm. What have you seen that has almost torn you completely apart, but God remains to have that glue to mold you into the masterpiece uh, that, that he wants uh, for his kingdom what would you uh, say to that? man when i look at my lukewarmness yeah mm. lukewarmness <laughs> my dad was an elder my mm. mama uh and he was in the air force lieutenant colonel my mama christian uh teacher got yeah. teacher of the year in northern virginia by the oil in virginia um, i was just lukewarm you know i knew the scriptures and that kind of thing i could you know i knew the difference between the old testament new testament plan of salvation yes. all of the intellectual knowledge yes, yes, yes. but until i got hit with that that need to have the and and develop the experiential knowledge yes. Mm. Yes. to 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 be in those situations where i learned to count it all joy when these difficult things are happening yes knowing that yes. the trying of your faith produces yeah. patience mm -hmm. and the counting of those things are those things that all work together for yeah. good mm -hmm. yes. they're not all good yes. but they work together that's for right good. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's right mm -hmm. so in in the company right we know that bad company corrupts good judgment yes yes okay yeah. so so that, let, let's look at it from this perspective you got a group of men that go into these prisons and the yeah. women that go into the prisons mm -hmm. you have about five out of every seven people they go in there excited about this opportunity two of them are so like why are we going in here for why is it necessary that these people should receive mm. what i've already received mm -hmm. even though i didn't go in and they're in there right mm -hmm. so that bad company is corrupting the good judgment yeah. of the others yeah. because yeah. they're they're misleading this their their lack of encouraging mm -hmm. actions yeah. right mm -hmm. it's synonymous with the death it stops right there. Yeah. Yeah. There is no burial and resurrection because they have killed those people yeah, without yeah. trying to show yeah, them exactly. love. Yeah. So 
have you experienced that as i'm sure we've all experienced it in a different church but in any church have you experienced that and, and what was your response to that well it, it our prison ministry team is on fire mm. ours really is mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm blessed with that our team is on fire I mean, you're on fire Let's go. Uh, yes, these people are on fire but um i kind of see it maybe in the in congregation or people outside of the ministry that don't get it Right. They don't understand why you'll go in there, and a lot of people are afraid. But mm. it's funny how we say, um, um, yea, though I go through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. But yes. then when you're in a situation, when that valley you're comes, not, yeah, you, you, can't you're, you're, you can't do it, and you're worried about other things. And it's kind of like in war, you know, in some of the military and armies of the world, if we're on, a, on the battlefield and we're going to attack the enemy, mm -hmm. those who turn and run backwards sometimes they can be killed or court martial or turn to salt right <laughs> because you are creating a situation of fear which can cause fear for the other troops and you can't be as effective mm -hmm. man you, you you just you just uh reminded me of something uh walker we've we've all been there you, mm. you walk into a place that you know that is almost certain death right mm. and you hold out a 20 dollar bill and they give you drugs mm. But you won't walk into the priest of the gospel because you're scared of the response. <laughs> the fear of rejection is fear worse rejection. than the uh, fear of death. That's right. Wow, wow. <laughs> that addiction that you have for dope was so powerful yeah. that it took you to the ends of the earth, yeah. to the shadows of darkness, mm -hmm. the shadows mm -hmm. of death, mm -hmm. the valley of death, however you want to look mm -hmm. at it. Mm -hmm. But 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 woe to me if I want to go and if preach I the gospel. Go. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. What what would you say to encourage someone to, to, to go without fear into an area where death is imminent? Well, you know, it's a test of your faith. Mm. Has not God worked in your life mm. in such a way that you know God is real? Yes. You've studied, you've humbled yourself to his word, you apply it. In all your ways, you're acknowledging the Lord. Mm. He's directing your path. You're seeing all these things exactly. happen. And as you mm. grow and you study the Old Testament and learn what he's done for mm. all these people, you realize, wait a minute. Nothing can happen to me unless it's the Lord's will. Right. And if it's yes. the Lord's will, there's absolutely nothing you can do nothing about it. Can stop and I that. would much rather be killed or hurt doing what's will. right yeah. than being <laughs> drunk and lit <laughs> on my Hayabusa motorcycle <laughs> doing 180 down the interstate That's being right. foolish and dying in mm. sin. Yes. Um, so the same passion that we have for the lust of the flesh, yes. we channel that into the Lord, man. It is going to do mm. wonders yeah. for your faith yeah. and for those around you. right right yes sir right good mm -hmm. good company creates good habits yes yeah. there so, you go so i'm gonna i'm gonna take you back a little bit here you're mm -hmm. 22 years old Ooh. you just turned 22 right yeah you 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 know about god uh -huh. you've heard about god yeah but not enough to make him your god at that moment mm. wow but people that you've known have encouraged you to do well and do right in your life okay mm -hmm. walker mm -hmm. you're not that far away from 22 you're 30 mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. right I'm, I'm 15 years removed 17 years removed you stand there at the altar, and, and God is is right there with his hand out. What would you say to encourage someone to grab his hand and not walk away and say, I'm not ready yet? You you can't get right and be ready without the Lord. Man. You just, you can't do it. See, that's, that's faith. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got to trust God to do something for you, which yes. is give you righteousness and give you the power through the indwelling of the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit that you don't have. Right. That indwelling of the Holy Spirit will help you to work out the thing God wants you to work in. Right. Mm -hmm. you know For his saying? good, that, right? He's working out what he's working in. Mm -hmm. And so you, that's that step of faith. Just like if you're doing a business, you got to take that entrepreneurial mm -hmm. risk. Yeah. Well, there's no risk in this. Right, right. There's a victory. Right. You know who's uh, winning, right? Yeah, you're I, winning in. We tell these men in prisons, uh, when I go in there with Ricardo, and uh, we're sitting there in one side of the room, right? Almost as if there's a great chasm in between. Yeah. And on the other side, they're watching the game when we're preaching. Wow. And I tell them, man, you you men that are here, because not that it's only men, but we we yeah, we're in a in a men's men's house. Mm -hmm. You sit on the other side with the un, the unsurety mm -hmm. of who's winning the race, wow. of who's winning the match, who's mm -hmm. winning the fight, who's winning the the game, right? But you sit here knowing that in the end Christ wins. How could you want to sit with something mm. that would be disloyal to you when you were so faithful to it, when the wow. very thing that's so faithful to you, you're disloyal to? Wow. So what I ask is, what do you tell somebody when the game's on 
and you're over here by yourself, and there's 50 men on the other side. How do you begin to bring them over? If to you bring need? those on the other yes, side yes. over here. Yes, Ooh, lots of parameters there. So I guess you're on a day unit, yep. and, and that. Mm -hmm. And you're by yourself situation. waiting for someone to come. Yeah. <laughs> They're all facing the TV, right. <laughs> and you're looking at a bunch of empty chairs. What would you do? So I'm going to engage these guys. Right. I'm going to engage them. I'm going to engage them, ask them where they're, what's going on in their life, mm -hmm. and I just go by what they say. I'm trying to impress upon you what's more important and mm -hmm. more valuable mm -hmm. in your life. How are you doing? And just based on how they respond, I don't necessarily have a strategy. It's just the spirit that works in me, Amen. depending on their response. Mm -hmm. If you want to win in life, become a child of God and take up your cross and follow yeah. him. And you'll Amen. get victories while these guys on the field yeah. are doing what they're doing. Exactly. Yes, sir. So. One, of the, one of the most highlighted phrases in all of the early 60s, all the way up to the, to the early 2000s, right? It was, down goes Frazier. <laughs> right? when, when you go over there to, to the other side, right? Mm -hmm. Have you ever had the inclination to just shut the TV off? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that's the first impulse. Mm -hmm. Have you done that? Because in the spiritual warfare, that well, in the places I come, we don't have access to the remote, and those TVs There's are no shut down. They're, they're they're shut down when we yes, come sir. in, so I don't have that. Mm -hmm. But I guess if I'm in a when I'm teaching and people are not listening or I feel they're distracted, then I'm going to go a little bit harder with the word, right, right. and I'm going to rebuke it in, yeah. in directly, yeah. but hu in humility. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Right? right. The because way Christ ultimately, Jesus would do you know, yeah. if you won't listen to my word and you don't listen to my will, Proverbs chapter 1, yes. the wisdom says, then I'm going to laugh at you when the calamity and distress comes upon you like a whirlwind mm. because you didn't want my rebuke and you didn't want my wisdom. Then I'm going to have to let you eat of the fruit of your own way. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so I don't leave it with that rebuke. But then I'll lift it back up and point it to Christ, yeah. and we've all seen it. For yeah. sure. You know, in, in Second Thessalonians in chapter two, when it talks about people who have delighted in wickedness, mm -hmm. right? We know that that's a choice. Oh yeah. You can you can rejoice with the Lord always, or you can delight in wickedness. Yeah. What what encouraging thing could you say to somebody who has always delighted in wickedness and has now tasted, uh, tasted opposite of bitterness in Christ, and they're they're looking at. They're looking at the menu that's all bitter and mm -hmm. wanting to go back. What would you What would you encourage them with? Man, when you consider that you were dead in those trespasses and sin, you were yes. a child of disobedience, mm -hmm. what good did you have in those things that you're now ashamed of? Right. When you study the Word of God and you see where those things led, you, you when you look at the consequences, how if I died in that, I'd mm. be eternally lost. And so we, wanna, we want to... Um, substitute that same passion we had for the world and for mm -hmm. the flesh and yes, the pride yes, a lot yes. those things feel yes, Lord, great yes. Yes. channel that into spiritual things because when you walk in the light you mm. don't have to worry what you said you ain't got to worry about look over your shoulder mm. no more mm -hmm. you can walk in that light and man it's so comforting and pleasing because you don't have to worry about being manipulative and quiet and, and mm. hurting other people and you feel good about yourself because you recognize you're doing what is pleasing to God and his righteousness is given to you. Mm. So replacing the flesh yes. with the spirit. Amen. And the spirit can overcome the flesh. And 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 Walker, if if you could, I know you've gone through certain things. Uh, what would you say to to brother here and, and, and how encouraging he's been to you uh, with his responses to the things that he's seen? So... Um, I mean, and this goes, this is across the board, I think, is that to see the, the the people that we've interviewed, the people that I've talked to who come in, and it's like, it's almost like you're hearing yourself say this, mm -hmm. say what you would say, you know, because it's, it's like we all see eye to eye on, on the, the complexities of, of what we're trying to do here in the jail, jails and prisons. And I mean, not just in the jails and prisons, in, in anybody's life that we come across, you know, and, and they're trying to uh, to maybe, you know, persuade them into a life with Christ. Um, but I... I I think something that I thought was interesting when you were all talking and when you were talking about, you know, with the TV, you know, the oh. specific example, uh, Paul, you said, well, I would try to do what Jesus would do. And when I think about, well, what would Jesus do? Well, Jesus would walk over there and tell a parable to these people of something that they, you know, he would, he would, he would, t he would tell this parable that would basically highlight the behavior that they were having without right. saying it right, right to their face, you know? Right. And then when they gave an answer it would be like, well, you know, Take a look at what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just I was when when we were talking about that, I was trying to think of something that that was clever, but uh, unfortunately, I'm not clever as Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I ever will be. Yeah, so. so so brother, you're you're. Uh, I, I encourage you to continue doing everything you're doing. Okay. Uh, as as likewise, yes. you encourage me to, mm -hmm. to continue and Walker to continue things, mm -hmm. and and uh, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna send you off with a little challenge on the airplane. Okay. The person you sit next to. Mm. Ah. Right. Once they say, okay. all right, and you hear the light ping. Okay. Put your light. Put your put your seatbelts off. <laughs> okay. Tell them of the gospel. Okay. Because you can't go anywhere when you're in the air. Oh, I like that. I okay. do that at the golf course. I told Walker earlier when I was talking to the brother. Said, when you're two, three miles into the golf course, they can't run. Yeah. You talk about <laughs> right. That's sure. what we're for. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I like I, that. I, we, although we're departing from here, we're not departing from the Lord. We love yeah, each other, brother. Man. I love you. Thank you so mm-hmm. much for being here with yes. us, and, man, and, and we look for forward to next podcast. year, man. Yeah. Thank mm-hmm. you. Thanks for having yeah. me on here. The Lord God willing, bless we'll you be all. here next year. Yes, again. sir. Yes, sir. I look forward to it. And hopefully, we'll have a name for the podcast by the end. We're gonna get it branded. Keep walking by faith. Yes, sir. That's right. Appreciate you, Paul. All righty. Yes, sir.